follow you. Uh, what we're going to learn here today is uh, when you when it touches you, you lose health and at the end we're going to show, it, this is another tutorial that one of the users requested. Uh, it'll be quick but you don't have to stay for the whole part. It's just going to make any part with a health bar and it's going to be able to follow you. So just stick to the end if you want to see that. All right, what we're going to do is this is the script from the last video and we're just going to add a few things here. We're just going to make this a fine first job. It makes it it makes it have less errors. Child. Okay, it's gonna be a fine first child. Uh, or so. All right, and then you want to do the same for this because this can cause errors later on as well. So if follow. And the torso is still there, and then you can end it. All right, so that'll end all the errors. And uh, what you want to do is come up here, make a few spaces, and what we're going to do is go through the dummy and take all these parts and make them touch connected. So uh, once someone hits it, it'll take their health away. So we're going to make it variable for damage. say 5 or make the function when hit object hit and we're going to do a for loop here so we're going to do for i is equal to 1 comma and we're going to make a table up here so we're going to do children is equal to uh, game dot work space dot dummy. I'm going to do get the children of it. Uh, that'll just make a table, and a table just stores a whole bunch of things, meaning that'll get all of these all in this dummy right here. So we're going to do number tag uh, children, meaning the length of this table, and we're going to do do. And then we have an end here. And I want to say if uh, children i that class name is equal to part. So go through all the parts here and see all the things here and see if it's a part. If it's a part, then it's going to do what what do what you want. And children i just means go. Th for each children, child, or whatever you want to say. And let's see. Uh, okay, once once you get the child, uh, you want to say uh, give it. You want to give it a function. So child children i dot touch. So, for every child, um, if the class name is equal to part, then uh, make a touch to event connect and then go to this function. So, we're going to say if it dot parent dot humanoid isn't equal to nil, if it's there, then what we want to do is take this, copy it right here. I'm too lazy. And I want to equal it to it again. And I want to minus it by the damage that I have. So we go through all the parts in the uh, child of the dummy. And uh, it comes up here and it should take away the take away the health. Now let's see if I have any errors here. Let's see if I did it all right. Oh, here we go. It's not not hitting my health yet. So let's see. Uh, 
test, reset, let's see what's wrong here, just disable that, okay, if hit.parent.humanoid isn't equal to nil, then, okay, you don't want to do that, you, I forgot health, the main part in that, that was stupid, but here we go, now it's getting my health, nope, let's try it again, uh, of course I need health on this side too, right? Alright. Okay, now, there, it starts damaging every time it hits me. There we go. Now when I respawn, there is a problem with this. So if you go here, he won't hurt you. So, he kind of just stops right there. So how to, f to fix that? We have to come actually put go over to this dummy right here. And we're gonna uh, move his arms up. That way he can always touch you. So we're gonna go to the left arm. We're gonna do home, rotate. We're gonna rotate it up. Just make sure it's just like a regular arm. Like any of the zombie games you see. That all their arms are like this. And you just do the same for the other one. Alright. And move it back up. Okay. And you just want to test it again. And this time he should always get you. See? You got me. You got me. You got me. And you got me again. So, that's how you do that. And, uh, so now that that's done with we're going to do is uh, I'm going to show you how to make any kind of part follow me. If you don't want to know this, you can end the video right now, but this is just what a user requested. So what do we do is uh, we're just going to change this to nothing and we're going to just insert a part in the workspace. Uh, right click that, insert part. Okay. Make sure all the, make sure it doesn't stick to the surface. So make sure that's smooth. Yeah, smooth. All right. What you want to do is, you want to insert, go back up to workspace, insert a model. Okay. Here's your model, and you just want to put that part right inside the model. And this is a crucial thing, you have to put head, otherwise it won't work. And then you have to add a humanoid in there. And then you get your block. And you can just name this whatever you want, and we'll call it dummy again. Alright? It's going to follow you. And what we're... Now, uh, parts require something different, so you're going to actually have to go to the part... You're gonna have to insert a a body position. There we go. And what you want to do is just come down here and change this P right here to maybe 2,000. All right. And you want to get the position of this. Copy it. Go to body position and paste the same thing right here. All right. Then you want to go back to your script right here. And instead of Set up the torso of the dummy. Now, now it says game dot workspace dot dummy, which is this the new part we've created, and it doesn't have a torso, so we're gonna have to do head. Okay, and then you want to say uh, that humanoid. You don't want to have that. You want to have dot head dummy dot head dot body position body position dot position now we want to just see how that works right here and this should be following you and it even hurts your health so the, the part just follows you everything follows you it gets you works everything happens right uh, so if you like this video comment below for any more requests like subscribe but for now peace out